My name is Leslie John Page. I live in Fetcham, Surrey. I'm 71 years of age and we are at the R Royal Automobile Club in Epsom, Surrey. It starts four years ago when I had some heart problems and I went into um, hospital for a suspected heart attack and um, a few weeks after that I was put on warfarin and I've been on that for over four years. I had been on that for four years. Uh, eventually ended up with lots of problems, um, head problems and vision problems. I've had three or four TIAs in the, uh, in the intervening period and um, the first one I had when I was at home and I just sort of um, bent down to pick a paper up and the whole room went spinning and suddenly I found myself on the floor soaking wet and my wife called an ambulance and I think that was about three years ago and they took me again into Epsom. I didn't feel very well a lot of the time and um, it impacts on me because I like a drink um, and as you know, I'm sure most people know, with warfarin you have to be very careful what you drink. I was strongly advised by any doctors or specialists that uh, you can drink as long as you have the same amount of drink each day. If you're consistent, it's not so bad, but of course, no, I don't drink like that. And uh, I like to go to a party, I like a good night out, so I tend to want to drink probably three or four one day and nothing the next. And that's no good if you're on warfarin, you have to be very controlled. I found that difficult. I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life. And when you start taking tablets for different things, blood pressure and all that, you're not quite sure if there's a pill suiting you or not suiting you. I don't know how you work it out without stopping taking something. And you're advised not to stop, so it's awkward. I was virtually going to the doctors once a week to, because I had trouble getting my levels right with the warfarin. And of course, another thing, when you go away, you've got to make sure you, you, you can go to a place where you can be checked out. I went to France and I spent half, well, a lot of my holiday in France uh, in a doctor's, having warfarin levels, because they were very concerned out there. That was soon after I first had it, um, uh, uh, the, the warfarin, and that, that caused a bit of a problem for me. Um, so you've always got to make sure you've got your medication with you and you've got to be very careful with it and take the right levels each day, which, well, can be a problem if you forget them, <laughs> which you hope not to. I was waiting to have the operation, actually. We were discussing it, and he said, you know, um, I've looked at your case, and it may be that you would be a suitable person for this sort of procedure. I didn't take it really on board, and so I went back and saw him again uh, when I had the follow-up, um, following the operation, I had a follow-up. Uh, appointment with him and he again mentioned it um, and he said he'd like me to consider it. I'm not decided whether I want this or not, you know, I'd like to know a little bit more about it because I hadn't really looked into it very much after that, but he reassured me and then I looked it up on the net, found out what it did and I was very keen to come off of warfarin because I'd been on it for a long time and it didn't really suit me, I was having a lot of stomach trouble um, and felt very uncomfortable, very unwell for some time. You can clot and you can die or have a stroke. I mean, you know, and um, that's the great danger. If you don't have anything done about it, I imagine you just go on until one day you keel over. That will happen to all of us eventually anyway, I'm sure, but uh, I'd rather try and prevent it. So if I'm advised by speci specialists that uh, something could be good for me or would be good for me, then I tend to go along with that advice. I understand where it goes, and it goes into the left appendage, and then hopefully it opens up and will stop um, clotting, as I understand it. That's how it was explained to me, and that, uh, that obviously appealed to me, because if it if can't be clotting from there, I imagine you, you cut down the risk of strokes. Didn't feel nervous at all. And the operation itself was nothing. I mean, it was very simple. From memory, even the two follow-ups, the one I had last week, I had another general anaesthetic, and I think the second one was also the same. Went in last Monday and had the uh, echo on Tuesday, and I feel OK now. feel very good. Haven't felt anything since I had it done. I even wonder if it's in there. <laughs> it's changed my life because I'm now off warfarin, and hopefully won't have to go back on it. It means I can have a, a decent drink if I want it. But and it's just made me more comfortable. As I say, I've had a lot of operations, but this one is one of the simplest as far as I'm concerned. And um, 
as a consequence, I'm very happy to have had it. I'm sure, you know, it will work for you as it seems to work for me.